Apple said that 8 gigabytes in a Mac is equivalent to 16 gig in a Windows computer, but honestly, that seems a bit too far fetched. So today, we are going to test that. I have an M3 Mac with 8 gigs compared to a Windows machine that has 16 gigabytes. And we're going to see not the overall performance, but does the Mac still keep up once you are multitasking, doing different things like people do, compared to a Windows computer? And which one will slow down more? The first thing I'm going to do is restart both of these computers. That way we start afresh. And I have to say that I agree with our commenters that we should at least have 12 gigs in a system and it costs $1,600. And now I have the activity monitors opened up. We have 5.8 gigs out of eight U's just with Mac OS compared to 5.7 out of our 16. Now I'm gonna start out with a few baseline tests as far as performance with nothing else open. And as you guys could see, the MacBook is quicker at web applications and tasks compared to the Windows computer, but that could flip once we have things open. And now I have Adobe Lightroom Classic opened with 50 of these edited high resolution images. And now let's go ahead and export these to get our baseline. The MacBook took a minute and 47 seconds compared to a minute and 17. So the Windows computer is faster and it's using 10 gigabytes of RAM compared to the Mac, which already is having to use two and a half gigabytes of SSD as RAM because it doesn't have enough even with nothing else open. And now I have DaVinci Resolve 18 Studio opened up and both these are having no issues playing through this Blackmagic RAW project. And rendering these, they're running very close in terms of speed. We have 3 minutes and 22 seconds compared to 3 minutes and 12. And now I have Photoshop open. We are going to be doing a photo merge. And that took a minute and 48 compared to a minute and 44. So very close in terms of performance. And now I shut everything down and I opened up Chrome with 10 web browsing tabs. I usually use around 30. So we're keeping it simple. I have Google Drive open, a spreadsheet, a document, a couple email pages, and then a few websites um, going up to YouTube, which I'm typically playing some music in the back background or a video like this MKBHD video. And with only these web browsing tabs, we are using about 400 megs of the SSD as RAM on the Mac compared to the Windows, which is actually using less RAM overall. And of course, we're gonna test the performance now with this real world use. But I wanna mention that a lot of Windows laptops will allow you to upgrade your RAM like this Lenovo. There's an empty slot so I can very cheaply for about 50 to 70 bucks, make this a 32 gig. Whereas with a Mac, one, it costs way more than that. And you cannot do it after you buy it, which makes it more important to have enough RAM. And now let's go ahead and minimize our Chrome browser. And now let's export these again, and we'll see if we have any differences. Holy moly, guys, we are using 6.3 gigs of swap on the Mac, while the Windows computer is taking 12 gigs out of its 16. And the Windows computer is actually faster this time, a minute and 16. So those 10 web browsing tabs didn't really phase it compared to the Mac, which took two minutes and 10 seconds instead of a minute and 47 previously. And that right there is starting to prove that no, eight gigs is not the same as 16. Now, unified memory is more efficient. I will absolutely agree. But eight gigs is just not enough in a system that costs this amount of money. And that's labeled a pro machine. And now I have DaVinci Resolve opened up right here. I'm doing the same exact export and I can right away see that the Mac is going slower than it was before. Okay guys, this is insane. The Mac was slower. Instead of taking three minutes, 22 seconds, it took 339. Not a massive difference, but it is slowing down. Whereas the Windows laptop went from 312 to 258. It actually likes having more things open in the background. And now let's test Photoshop again. This time the Mac was only slightly slower than before while the PC was exactly the same. And now let's test some multitasking. Let's go ahead and open up Chrome. That was fairly smooth. Let's go ahead and go to YouTube. And they're actually doing a fairly similar job.
Now for true multitasking, I have to do this next step. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Lightroom again because I typically have either Photoshop and video editing open or if I'm doing Lightroom, I'll Photoshop open and I'm going to my browser. Let's hit export here and then I'm gonna go ahead and go into Photoshop a little bit faster on the windows there. Let's open up this HDR setup. It's starting to load the images and align the layers here. While it's doing that, let's check on Lightroom. Looks like the PC is almost done there. Bam, it did take about five seconds longer than last time, so it did slow down, but the Mac is just at a standstill here. Go into Photoshop. This has been loaded up for I don't know how long here. We are still spinning and typically a Mac will be quicker at loading up images. This thing is just crawling right now and clicking on Lightroom, barely moved here. Now I've done a lot of these kind of testing in the past and we compare this eight gig to a 16 and it was a dramatic difference when you're multitasking. So I didn't touch the system there until Lightroom finished and that took four minutes and one second compared to the original a minute and 47 seconds. And now let's try something different. Keep in mind guys, we only have 50 images here. I never do just 50 and we also only have 10 web browsing tabs, which I never only have 10 personally. Let's go ahead and open up Chrome and let's go ahead and switch. Both of them had to take longer to load there. And in Photoshop, our system is starting to slow down. Just look between just these two images. There's definitely a delay. And now opening up our web browser again. Bam, we're slowing down. Look at that. Dang. So you guys could see that no, eight gigabytes is not the same at 16, uh, especially when you're gonna actually be using the system. In my previous videos, I pushed it harder. I had 20 tabs open, multiple different things. And I have to say, I agree with you guys when you said that Apple should at least put 12 gigs into a $1,600 system. The M3 Pro would still have 18. They would still be a reason to kind of step up and upgrade, but that would give it a little bit more oomph because even with nothing open, we had five and a half gigs used out of eight. That's two and a half gigs remaining for applications. And the crazy thing is the same system with 16 gigs of RAM is way faster, even with nothing open at all. So please, Apple, Stop giving us eight gigs when it's pretty much 2024. You guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Click that circle above to subscribe. Check out one of those great videos right over there. This has been Max and I'll see you in the next one.